It was then that I asked God why there had been so much pain in my life, and where had he been while I was suffering and so afraid. He then told me to hold his hand while he showed me something. I don't know exactly how to describe what happened next. The only way I know how to describe it is as follows. Have you ever seen a pond where as matter decays on the bottom of the pond, bubbles rise to the surface? Well, as God held my hand, I could see great chunks of memories, many of which I had repressed as they were so painful, come floating up in front of me. I saw myself as a boy getting physically and emotionally abused by my father. I saw myself in grade school being mocked and ridiculed by other boys and girls, for I had been a loner and an object of ridicule. I saw myself suffering at the hands of nuns and teachers who only knew how to humiliate and denigrate me. The memories were terrible and watching them I felt so much sorrow and compassion for myself as a child. He then told me to look closely and it was then that I could see a light around my body during every one of the events. I could feel God's love for me as a little boy and he told me that he had always been right next to me and he had never left my side. I was overwhelmed by his love for me at this point. It was completely overwhelming. It was then that everyone who had ever hurt me, from my childhood all the way to some of the personalities in the monastery I was having trouble dealing with, I saw, and they too had a light around their bodies. I could see that we were all wounded children, and the reason we were here was to love and forgive one another and to help one another through this spiritual journey. I could feel the love and compassion that God felt for not only me, but for everyone I had ever encountered. I was filled with compassion and forgiveness for everyone. God then held me tightly to him and told me that he would be with me always and to not lose faith in him. He told me there was nothing I could do for him to leave me and to know that all was well. After what felt like several hours of this experience, I could feel God's presence recede, although there was an afterglow in the room like golden light. I left the room and knocked on the novice master's bedroom door. It was 3.15 in the morning. He sat with me while I related what happened, sobbing the entire time. He was very empathetic and told me that I had truly encountered God and that I was blessed. I think he was also worried about my mental health. He excused me from my jobs for the next few days as I was still going back and forth from the experience and I was very, very emotional. It took me two days to stop sobbing. The reason that I'm writing this is that it is now 30 years since the experience. I know for a fact that this was the most real experience I've ever had, more real than the life I live now. I'm sharing this in the hopes that it makes some sense to others who may be struggling with their own experiences and to remind myself again how much God loves me. I would like to add that one thing that really struck me about the experience was the knowledge that God loves everyone and his love is all inclusive and anyone who seeks love and truth will find it in God no matter what their belief system is.